We're going to talk about traffic patterns. Uh, there's multiple reasons why we have to be very precise when we're doing the patterns. Uh, the first is just because a well-established, well-set-up, and well-executed traffic pattern will lead to a good landing almost every time. Of course, there's always times when your landing is going to be botched no matter what you do to try to save them. But your odds are stacked in your favor if you're right on the game all the way around the traffic pattern. The other issue that I really want to focus on is safety. When people fly improper traffic patterns, the risk of accidents goes up. The most dangerous time of any flight is when you're near the ground, takeoff and landing. And so when people start breaking the rules, and this happens if you get, you know, the, the farther you get into your training or beyond, you get a little bit complacent, and you may not want to make the whole pattern, you're in a hurry, and so people will start cutting corners. And more than once, that has caused me some problems in my flying career. I, at one point, had a guy almost hit me head on he was entering the pattern the wrong direction and not making any radio calls. At another time I had somebody, it was supposed to be a right hand pattern, he was coming in on a left hand pattern and that puts you again on a head on collision course when you're both turning base to final and nobody's really looking for other airplanes at that point. You're, you're setting up for your airspeed, your flap settings, you're looking at the ground. You've got so much going on, it's just critical that the whole time you're flying a pattern you're following the proper procedures, again from a safety standpoint and also to make your landings the way you want them to be a good landing every single time. What we're going to do now, we're going to get in the airplane, we're going to try this out and put it all into practice. So let's go fly. I'm going to try to get back on the center line. And then... No wind to worry about, so there's no radar on correction. Just holding a little right rudder for the torque that's trying to pull us off to the left. Feel it starting to bump right now. There's the nose up. The mains are still on the ground a little bit. A little bit of wind drift. I don't know if you felt this kind of getting pushed yeah. to the right. So at the last minute, I went and put some right or left aileron to correct for that. Sorry. Uh, is that moving around on you? Uh, I need some trim. Flaps coming up this time. <laughs> As I get more familiar with all of this, I'll be singing more, so <laughs> I'll warn you now. All right, that's how you know I'm not as nervous as I used to be. Okay, well, that's good to know. All right, what was our field elevation? Do you remember? Uh, wasn't it uh, 800, I believe? 782, but yeah, we rounded to 8. Okay. I like to get about 500 feet off the ground before I make my first turn. So we're going to 1300. We're coming up on. Yeah, I've got a point right off my wingtip. I look at it first, it goes away. That's all right. I just set up about a 30 degree bank turn as I fly back to that point. Once I get to that point, which is right here, we're off just a little bit early. Wings level and count to three. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. That's about it. Roll into the next point. Rush hour. Yeah. Now, yeah, if that was rush hour, then uh, maybe they'll make it. Yeah, there's altitude. First thing I do is push the nose over. Don't pull power yet. Okay. Let the airspeed build. If you pull power first, then you just end up setting yourself up in slow flight. But push the nose down, maybe do a little bit of trimming at this point, but not. I'm not going to get too carried away with the trim because I haven't set my power. Okay, now power back to 4,000. This is 630 Hotel Romeo, clear for the absent, runway 17. Okay, there's 4,000. I'm about 50 feet low. I'm, I'm a little high on my airspeed, so I'll fix that. By pitching the nose up, I'll fix both problems at the same time. A little bit of trim. 630 Hotel Romeo, just clear for takeoff, so I'll lift the parts We're beam the numbers. Power's coming back to about 35. Hold the nose up. In fact, we might even go ahead and use 3,000. That nose up, wide arc. Flaps to the takeoff setting, just the first notch of flaps here. And at this point, we are looking back. We want to be about at a 45 degree angle from where the threshold is. And we're descending at 500 feet per minute. 
bit of trim so that you can do this pretty much hands off. The 500 foot per minute rate, you want to see with your hands off. He has not yet cleared us for landing, so we've got to keep that in mind. Uh, thank you. And again, on this turn, I'm looking out here to a point that will put me at a perfect 90 degree base. I'm going to give him a call. Option means that we're allowed to do a touch and go, a stop and go, a full stop, oh, pretty okay. much whatever we want to do. Okay, I am 500, actually 400 feet off the ground, ordering on low, I overshot my turn, don't do this. If you do, it's a real drastic turn to get back to the runway because that's where people stall the plane and spin it and, and we will stop there. Again, that's me in Flight Simulator. I'm going to add a little bit of power because I think we're just a touch low, not bad. and add some more flaps. Once you're established on final, your altitude's fixed, you know, everything's looking good, then you can go full flaps. You see how much that changed the pitch of the aircraft? I do. It really brings that nose down. And now I've just got that uh, spot in the windshield starting to sink, so I had a touch of power. You don't want to pull up. I've got that 1.7 just glued to a spot in the window. Power out. You just, you just kind of feel along there. It would start to sink and I'd pull back, but... Yeah, but not drastically. Not drastically, and if it was too much, you'd see me go back forward with it. Okay, flaps That's coming back to take now. off. And go ahead and put full throttle for me. You are on the flight controls. I have the flight controls. The controls.